So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And our live game is Juventus against Galatasaray. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Modric tries a long pass towards the front. Passes it through. This is promising. Gets up to head it! And he's done it! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Juventus ahead, one goal to the good. That's good progress he's made on the ball, where to next? Aimed long and direct, pushes it out wide. Towering header! Ronaldo! Superb! And they are disappearing out of sight. And a trademark move ends with the inevitable classy finish. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Juventus take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Gets good distance on it. Played out to the wing. Looks to slip it through. Oh, good stop, it had to be. And the defence can get it clear. Tries a through ball, shakes the shoots! He's done very well to get to that. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Away from immediate danger. Daniel Alves plays it out to the wing. How about it? Not this time. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Omar El Abdullawi gets it away. Modric. Good stop. That wasn't easy. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter. And I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. Knocks it towards the front. Sergio Ramos with a good steal. Well played. Now the pass. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. <laughs> Defence has got rid of that. Tries to stroke it through. It's out for a goal kick. Oh, 
And he has been fouled there. And it's Neymar. He's pinged one through here. Great reaction. And he's there to make a great save. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. Great leap! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Looks like a good ball through. Shalmud. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Spoon forward. Juventus are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. He's had a shot! And that really should have hit the net. Look, we know they're behind and need something, but I just wonder whether they're getting a touch anxious with shooting from that kind of distance. Modric, Dani Alves, and he's whipped it in low. Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. Galatasaray didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempt at goal too, they were a little fortunate. to safety and the volley pulls loose who's getting there Modric pings it in clears it out of harm's way has a swing at it and the half-time whistle goes what have we learned from the first 45 minutes Juventus look good for their lead as soon as they went ahead, they took full advantage of, of a loss of concentration and, and landed a second blow before recovery from the first. Uh, it's kicking them while they're down, and, and it's got to be done. Juventus sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Omar El Abdullawi. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries a through ball. He's had a go! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Dochkal. It'll be a throw in. And it's Dochkal. Crunching tackle. Jean Moutinho. Galatasaray are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Neymar passes it through. Good delivery, no joy. Juventus had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. It so nearly came off for him. He's been a joy to watch, and, and that didn't miss by much. He'll be back.
It's gone for a throw in. It's a loose ball. Well played, he saw that coming. Cristiano Ronaldo done very well to intervene. Gets it upfield. It's a long forward pass. Keeper's got good distance on that. Sergio Ramos. Loris gets it upfield. He's had a shot! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. Oh, that's great stuff from him. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Pepe sticks in a foot to win it back. Cuts it out. Out to the left it goes. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Fires from distance. Looks to slip it through. Decent ball. Ball is over the line. Wonderful quick feet. Dodge Carl is fouled. Well, I wasn't expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close. I mean, it kept the keeper on his toes. James Rodriguez with the ball through. A chance! Massive leap! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. What a great header, got plenty on that. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Juventus take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. That intervention was very necessary. Cristiano Ronaldo up to meet it in for the pieces he scored results no longer in doubt it's just about how many he was really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward well for me that's just pure predatory brilliance it's not so much the finish but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it it's fantastic Juventus totally rampant here. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Bale. Now the pass. How about it? Ronaldo! Superb! A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage.
He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Juventus tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Thrust towards the front line. Arda Turan. Oh, good interception. Omar Al Abdullahi gets it back. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Juventus a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, I think when you score with your first effort in goal, there's a good chance that things are uh, going to go your way for the rest of the game. And to be fair, they used the impetus it gave them to gain a level of control, and I think they went on and deserved to win.